just gotta put some consummate V's down here. Oh no, I don't have room for the third one. Ah, we'll be fine. There we go. So much better. So when you're drawing doodles, you typically should try. You'll note that as I was drawing in the previous video, there was a line going around the edge of the screen. The more you draw, the more of that line is used up. Right now there's very little of it left there in the lower right-hand corner. And that's all you... As your pen gel levels up, that line gets longer, letting you draw more. And you generally always want to try to use as much of that line as possible, so you know your doodles are as powerful as possible. Because the more ink you use, the more powerful your doodles are. And on top of that, what you actually use your ink for will determine what your doodle is good at. Like, this one is a magic type, because it is kind of long and slender. It doesn't have just one solid mass. And it's also got little hard bits and an arm. And, like, if you wanted your guy to just have a crap ton of HP, just give it one big ol' round body, and you should be pretty good. And we actually have to make a new body. Um, so I actually redrew this one a couple times to get it to be where it is. But yeah, let's go ahead and start a new one. Um, I'm going to leave this one pretty simple, but I'm going to make it pretty big. Is gonna be a big ol' heart. Look at that heart. I should probably do more with it than that. I suppose I can give it big ol' arms. Well, I'm gonna give it some hard bits. Let's give it some hard bits and see what we can do with our hard bits. Now, you'll also notice that as we win, we gain more of individual colors. Like, I only have 400 blue. Not a lot of blue. I'm probably gonna use that up pretty quickly, actually. Like, there, I didn't even have enough blue to do that. You can also erase bits, if you wanna try again. So I'll try again and try to use less ink. There we go. Look at that. Um, yeah, let's try to give it an arm. Give it a big ol' a big old beefy arm. What do I have a lot of? I got a lot of yellow. Give it some noodle arms. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. There we go. Look at that! We almost used all of our color, and now it has arms. Okay, I gotta name this one. I don't know what I'm gonna call it. Um, I'm just gonna call it heart. I'm gonna be uncreative. Bam! Done! Look at these two guys now! Okay, so, um... This is actually the part where I wanted a bit of audience participation. Because I'm gonna be drawing these guys over the course of the game. Man, he's... He's wiggling. So I'm gonna be drawing these guys over the course of the game, and for the most part, I'm only gonna have three doodles. I can always make more than that. But I only really have three doodles. And I think if I use ink on one doodle, I can't use it on another, like of a particular color. So if I use all my red on one doodle, I have no red for any other doodles. But here's what I want to know from you guys. 
You've seen about the complexity of the things that can be made in here. I made Trogdor, sort of. I can't even entirely make a Trogdor. But that's about as complex as it's gonna get. I wanna know from you guys what my doodles should be. I'm gonna make all my doodles and I'm gonna change all my existing doodles. I'll even get rid of this heart guy or whatever. I kinda wanna keep Trogdor. But I may wanna, I may get, I'll probably even like get rid of this heart guy. Um, just so we, I can keep making the doodles that you guys want me to make and changing my doodles how you guys want me to change them. Now, um, another thing of note is that I do record in advance. So I can't react immediately, but I'm gonna do my best to react to what you guys want me to do. So yeah, look at that guy hobbling around. Just a big old butt heart. Okay, so we can uh, kind of piddle around now. Oh, if you want to come here, this is the only place that you can change your doodles or do anything with them. You can also see like their stats, their experience, their that kind of thing. Right now we have to talk to Zoe. We won't always have to talk to Zoe. And I'll also talk to Tara. You can also save here. I sure will. Yeah, you go over here to the front door and you save. That's it. So, I don't know. Today, let's just kind of look around. Let's get a feel for this town where we're going to be spending a great deal of our time. So that's the path back to town. But you can also go down the stairs over here. Not seeing much down there. Looks like we're just going down this way. Where there's a little something something down here. I do really like how the loading screens are handled. Where it just kind of dims the screen and shows you walking somewhere. I like it. So, uh, we can't go here. That's cool. We'll, maybe we'll be able to go there later. There's Merchant over here. He's flashy. Probably also seedy. We'll talk to him later. Hey there, little girl. I remember you from earlier. What? Oh. So we're going to be going in here a lot because this is kind of where you go to battle when you're not, like, progressing the story or anything. You can also ask, like, anybody to duel you. And it's been a long time since I've done that, so Got I don't it. know what happens if you do. Oh, the rules also change frequently. So right now it's real simple 1v1. Yeah, let's do one. Let's do a 1v1. We're going up against a guy... Let's use... Do we want to use Trogdor, or do we want to use the heart? Ah, let's use Trogdor. Oh, so I did move over to the... Ooh, this will be fun. I'm gonna make a lot of kids cry by the end of this game. Good luck out there. Okay, so he was a magic type, not a physical type. So he may actually, he may start with magic. I don't know what his AI is. I'm gonna start with block though. All right, we both start with block. Okay, well, at least now I know where we both are. So we're gonna hit each other. That's gonna be cool. Punch it! Punch that barrier! Okay, so we both blocked. So that means we're down to attack and magic. So assuming he's... Magic would be the smarter move. Assuming he's smart. Um, there is no advantage to attacking, though, so I might as well keep using magic. I don't know if I want to use my feint too, though. It's a lot of MP. Let's use charge seal. Come on, doodle, do better! No, both using magic. So we did make the smarter decision. 
So that'll seal his charge. Not that that matters a lot. Oh, man. Okay, I'm out. So he's just gonna beat me up for a minute. I'll get up eventually. I don't know how long this lasts. A turn or two? At least two turns? I should've used my magic. I should've just used my magic! Dang! Well, that's what happens when you lose. I won! At least he's happy, though. I shouldn't have played it safe. I knew we both had the same skill set. I was kinda hoping he was just gonna be dumb. That was kinda my plan. But that's fine. So you see, I actually got some blue from that. So theoretically, that expanded how much blue I have in my repertoire. To draw with. So you can actually go and talk to this guy, and I think you can buy the doodles that you've beaten, plus this one, which I don't quite understand. That one's just his, because he just I guess. Everybody lets you buy, like, a doodle from them. And I don't know what to do with money other than buy doodles. It's been a long time since I played the game, man. We're gonna be figuring this out together! Okay, so, um, I think as I said, though, I did change over to an ISO for, instead of the raw disk, so hopefully that cuts down on the, the stuttering and the loading and things. I think it's even helped my FPS in some places. So let's just, uh, let's just keep going, hope it works out well. Okay, this is a reasonably big town, though, and this is where we're gonna, we're gonna be spending a lot of our time, so let's go ahead and look around for a little bit. There's a guy up there. Hey! Maybe. What's it to you? What's up? Well. Oh yeah, that nerd. So also some of these shops are closed right now. They will actually, if memory serves, open up over the course of the game. What is it? Well, look at that character. That is a friggin' uh, Ghibli character. That is a Ghibli face. What do you want? I mean, what are you gonna do? Yell at him about it? What kind of doodle you got, lady? Look at it! What do you want? Just a big old derpy guy. There is, and I could not tell you why, there is a pole, um, an invisible pole, right here in the middle of the street. So you'll see, every time I walk by here, I will hit something and go, what the heck? Like, why is it stuttering? It's because there's a pole in the middle of the street, but it's invisible, and I don't know why. Welcome, welcome! Again, that's a Ghibli face! I haven't heard it. How can I help you? It's a sprout. How can I help you? Thank you. Would you like some tea? Hi. Hello! Alright, well, you keep working. You're also not continuing to wash. What can I do for you? What's your doodle look like? Oh! Oh, I want it. You can't rotate it, sadly, and that costs way more money than I have, which is zero. 
What can I do for you? See ya! I still like to see what they have. Like, I can't buy any of them, but like, I don't know, man. Let's take a look around. Hi. Yeah, they're all right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See ya. And like every character in this town has so much character. Like everyone is a distinct personality Welcome. and it's great. So I'm sure the plot is going to explain this more later on, but Galileo is their father. Or something similar. And he hasn't been around in a while. It's a peach. It is! It's a peach! <laughs> Thanks! Okay, so nothing there. No actual, like store there, or people there. Okay, let's keep going up. Nothing here yet. Eat and rest! A dreamy diner. I think that's a dream. What was that? Sizzling! Man, that guy's going! Oh, I can talk to him. Greetings. Yeah, I can tell. I also can... I can't quite see you through all the mist! What do you want? Yuki? Yucky? What do you want? Thanks. You can also see the creator. Up top. And I think they're all, like, members of the staff. Like the game staff or something. Rare things! Ah, the good old flesh seafood merchant. What's up? The tax like 90% or some crap? Like, we're gonna take 90%! Like, what's the tax for? Not killing you! Oh, okay. I'm pretty cool with that. Trig. What's up? So is Come that, again. like, the male restroom symbol, or fish, is that just an arrow? I also love the personality that you get just by, like, crap like this guy going, like, Buy my beautiful fish! Just when you're walking by, you can just hear it. Welcome. What would you like? What kind of doodle you got? Clocks. I wish I could rotate them. What would you like? Thank you. Oh, as we saw earlier, um, oh, the people are, the people here are no longer here. As we saw earlier, the, um, there's not much in the way of punishment for loss in this game. Like, generally, if you lose, it just kind of boots you out and you can try again. Like, that even goes for plot battles for the most part. <sighs> It's a really nice day today. It's all right. It's rained a lot earlier. What? Spats. What? <sighs> You're creepy. Oh. You gonna tell me what I'm thinking about so I can tell you you're wrong? Because I'm thinking about cookies. Huh? 
So like right now you can just go talk to everybody, but you can't really do much yet, but that's alright. Like as the game goes on and opens up, there's yeah. gonna be a lot to do in this town. <laughs> sure. La, 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 la. What would you like? Oh man, this guy. Oh. Oh. What would you like? Take it easy. You're a person. You are most assuredly a person. Ah. Oh, okay, so I give you colored gems and I get money back. Okay. Well, I don't know. I like having my colored gems because I can use it to make doodles. But I guess this is where you get money. I don't know exactly what I need money for yet. Hmm. Because the gold gems are money. Like, straight up, they're money. Um, I guess you only get money from her, though. Oh. We've spoken. Well... Pretty sure I already saw her doodle. So that's a big old angry looking door that I'm sure we'll never be able to go in. Hmm? What do you want? Oh man, the information center. <laughs> cool. How's it going? Keep talking. What do you want? Oh. Hmm. Hmm? What do you want? Okay, what was that? Because I'm pretty sure this is the only pen gel that I can see. Also, funnily enough, as you saw, not everybody owns a pen gel, of course. So some, like, you get doodles from other places. Like, Zoe had some doodles that she got from elsewhere, even though she doesn't have a pen gel. Despite that you need a pen gel in order to get into the tournament, I'm wondering why those two nerds could get in. They probably like bribed their way in or something. Because the pen gels are only supposed to be for the pure of heart. Okay. Whatever you say, dude! I want to say eventually you'll be able to buy like potions or something. Hello! I always like this lady. What? With her big old square piece of bread. Mm. What? Take care. Look at that. Look at that perfectly square loaf of bread. That's it? Hey! Maybe I'm drinking too much juice. Me Doran? No idea. Hey! Thanks! Okay, I guess that's it. Um, so onwards into here actually leads back to the arena. This is the town for the most part. We're gonna we're going to be spending most of our time. So going that way goes to the arena where we can actually fight. We can fight the dude. 
whose name already escapes me, but that's all right. I'm sure they'll tell us. I think before I do that, though, I want to go back down here and maybe win a battle or two in the seaside arena. See how that treats me. Um, which will give us a little bit of experience for the doodles. There's so many systems in this game that I completely forget how work. Man, that guy's so goofy. He's alright. I wish I had more... I wish I had more ink, because I want to give him two big beefy arms. Yeah, until next time, everybody, though, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to beat up some kids. It's going to be great.